Got a little uh, Kubota diesel tractor here. That's a model B2920. And uh, I was having problems with it not starting. Uh, when you turn the key, it just would not start at all. Wouldn't turn over at all. And the problem ended up being that this, uh, this uh, transmission foot control uh, for going forward and reverse wasn't returning to the neutral position and the safety switch in that foot control was uh, keeping the starter from turning. Anyway, I went ahead and I greased that control and everything seems to be working fine now, but I thought I'd take that, that safety switch out and uh, do a video on how to check it. Uh, it's just a simple on and off switch, uh, but to get to it, the first thing I need to do is remove this cover. To get this cover off, i got to loosen up this bolt here. There's another one on the other side that you can't really see in the camera. It's just like this one. Just, just loosen it. i got to remove this knob, and i got to remove this arm here. This arm just pops off. Once you get those uh, screws and everything out, bolts, uh, just lift this up. pops out. The safety switch for the foot control is right down here. It's that silver piece. Um, you get it out, the way you get it out is you loosen up that nut that's on the safety switch um, and then it slides out and disconnect the uh, connector here and you can uh, just pop it out. So I'm going to do that next. Uh, the way you get this loosened up is I took a pair of channel locks, small pair of channel locks, went underneath here I don't know if I can do this on camera, but if you can see my channel locks there. And I grabbed a hold of that nut, was able to loosen it up, and uh, got it loose. Man, I just need to, need to slide it out. And there it is. When this switch, uh, if you took the floorboard of the tractor off and you uh, looked at this switch, um, there's a mechanism that's connected to the uh, foot control, and there's a rod that uh, rests at the end of this uh, end of this plunger on the switch. Um, when that, when that foot control is in the neutral position, that rod presses in on this switch. And if you press the foot control in either the forward or reverse direction, the rod moves out all the way. So um, this, to, in the neutral position, this, this uh, switch should be pressed in. And uh, you can make adjustments to the switch using these uh, adjusting nuts on the, on the switch body. When you um, refer to a switch as normal position, uh, what you're saying is uh, how this switch exists when nothing is touching it. Is it normally closed or is it normally open? Um, I don't know. I don't have a manual for this switch, and you can't always tell, but you can't tell by looking at it. Um, there's contacts inside the switch, and uh, if this was a normally closed switch, uh, when nothing is touching this switch, that means the contacts in this switch are closed. That means that current can flow from one wire through the switch 
to the other wire. Um, if the switch is position uh, uh, is, is if the switch is normally open, that means the contacts are open when nothing's touching the switch, and that means that current can't flow from one wire through the switch to the other wire. To test this switch, you want to get yourself an ohm meter. Um, this is the ohm meter. It doesn't matter if it's an analog, digital, uh, cheap, or expensive. Um, we're only going to use it for, to test continuity of the switch. Um, so it, it doesn't matter if it's cheap or expensive. What you want to do is turn the uh, meter on. Um, you have several options here on the, uh, the for the ohm setting. I always set it to 20k because it uh, tends to zero out easier when um, my leads are touching. Uh, what you want to do is when the leads are not touching on an ohm meter, that means uh, there's a battery inside this meter and it tries to send current through the leads. Um, when the leads are not touching, no current can flow and the meter indicates that condition as a 1 in the readout here which means infinity, have an infinite resistance. Uh, when you touch the leads together there's continuity, current can flow through these wires and but because there's continuity there's no resistance and this meter gives me a reading of 0 and I want to be able to reproduce what I just did when I have these leads connected to my switch, the wires on my switch. To test this switch, I want to take my ohmmeter uh, leads and uh, connect it to the two wires coming from the switch. <clears throat> I want to take one lead, connect it to one wire, take the other lead and connect it to the other wire. And when I do that, I get a reading on my ohmmeter of 1, which means infinite resistance. So that tells me that the normal position for this switch is normally open. That means that the contacts inside this switch are not making contact and current is not allowed to flow through the switch. <clears throat> when I close the switch by pressing in on this plunger um, I get zero resistance which means that the contacts in the switch are making good contact and um, there's no resistance and uh, current is able to flow through the switch. You know it's, it's possible to have a single body with multiple switches inside um, and have more than two wires coming out uh, there's sometimes there's really no way to tell uh, you know uh, the logic of the switch without having a repair manual. That's the ideal situation is to have a repair manual, um, you know, to get a description of the switch and to see how it actually fits into the electrical circuit on the tractor. Uh, sometimes they write NC or NO on the switches, so you know off the bat if it's normally closed or uh, uh, normally opened. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and reinstall this and uh, get the tractor out and uh, I hope you found this video helpful and thank you for watching.